Well, I'm going to show some uh, shots here of my Great Lakes bite that's on my uh, bench. I've been working on it for a couple years. It's a scratch, 25%. And uh, this is the second plane I've done in uh, latex paint. This one's done using the Valencourt method. And I shot it in uh, Benjamin Moore exterior white uh, house paint. And uh, it's gone on nicely. This is after I've primed it with uh, uh, enamel-based primer and easy coated over coverall. So it's it's turned out uh, pretty good. I'm just getting ready to put the second color on. And uh, I did a test on the uh, cowl. I shot that on Friday night. Uh, colors don't always shoot the same. I did it with my airbrush. And the red goes on actually a little bit different than the white. And now I'm marking off the graphics on the uh, fuselage, and uh, I'm well. You can see on the other side I've uh, done that. I'm going to show you the other side to show you how it's masked off. A lot of people don't realize the amount of work that goes into a paint job. Um, they complain about monocoat being a little bit slow, or a little bit this, or a little bit that, and they should anyway try. Uh, to do um, a paint job. It, it's a little more time consuming. It's really rewarding though, but that's what you start. I'm using an automotive's uh, striping tape for detail. I've got some here. You can buy it at Automotive Paint Supplier or Art Supply. And then I'm using a 3 8 light tack masking tape over that. But you've got to put all this on here. I want a nice clean line. So I use that for the clean line and then it, I I got to cut it all out so I make sure you got to think this through to the end and overspray is your enemy so you want to be really careful about how you mask it so this is I'm just getting started on this side so I'm going to stop this and then I'm going to turn the plane around and show you the other side so this is the um, other side of the plane all mashed off and uh, you see where I've cut out the uh, automotive stuff to put a nice clean line through and I'm really careful about overspray I've learned over the years from shooting dope and uh, uh, like shooting uh, liquid dope not dope dope but anyway uh, from shooting dope and and shooting primers and stuff like that it's amazing how overspray can find the smallest little crack and crevice so now I'm pretty careful about how I'm sealing it and because I'm using a low tack um, tape it doesn't want to stick too well to itself this I taped up yesterday and it's already starting to lift this is the pattern that I'm putting on the uh, uh, the starburst pattern on the top I've still got a few numbers and stuff that I'm going to make up masks for this and but I'm going to wait and get all the most of the red painting done first and then on the bottom I'm just going to pick this up here I'm going to do uh, straight broad stripes on the wings and you can see on the fuselage how I've taped that off so I'm pretty careful about that I still have this side so I'm going to get the other side taped off hopefully this afternoon and uh, into this evening and I hope tonight to get uh, the the painting uh, done so I can take the tape off tomorrow so this is kind of this is not the only way to do it I don't think this is just the way I do it and uh, you know it's a lot of work but uh, hopefully it'll be a, a nice finished product once I get the whole thing shot with the colors I'm gonna let it dry up for a month and then I'll probably uh, light sand it with 400 or 600 uh, just to take the sheen off of it and then I'm going to clear coat it with luster coat and uh, to fuel proof everything. I'm running a Sato 180 uh, with uh, ignition uh, for power. It should be okay. So it's a nice plane. So I just thought I'd share this experience and you can get an idea of what it's about. My camera broke so I haven't got a new one. I can't just do a bunch of short pictures so I thought a video would work.